Right, so I'm going to show you how to make a simple-ish mouse trap. Now, you could scale this up much bigger and catch larger animals. I probably wouldn't go much smaller than what I'm going to make it, um, but you definitely make it bigger. So you need a few bits of wood, um, one for a bottom piece, one for the actual deadfall, one as the trigger. A couple of other small little bits for pieces here and there, and one round stick. There's not much weight in this stick or this board, so what you could do is you could just balance a brick on the back of it. Or if you could get a thicker, heavier wood, then use that, or maybe put a lead sheet on the back of this or something. Now, obviously, um, I'll say now that. This may be illegal in your country, so check any relevant laws where you are. Um, but you can still make these things as demo pieces or for practicing. Because I know a lot of people say, you know, oh, you can't use these things because they're illegal, and I forget to mention that. Not all of them, but some of them are. Right, so the first thing we want to do is drill some holes. The holes have got to be um, bigger than this so that the pieces of wood can slide down them. You'll know when we kind of get to the end or near that point. So there's no measurements to this, you kind of just go in as you go. I reckon I'll do a hole about there. And that one should do it. Hopefully. I'm going to drill a fairly large hole. And if I need to do... If it doesn't fit that, I'll just shave that down a bit. This one may actually need to be shaped slightly oval, but I'll drill the hole first. We may need to do another hole next to it. So that's the hole drilled. Now this has got to be able to fall on that. So it needs to be either slightly oval or quite a lot bigger than the um, stick. I think that might just work. But what I might do is maybe just take a little bit off of one side <laughs> Thank you. 
guys, now I reckon that should just not work. Now in this one we want to do the same. Roughly the same. I'm just hoping that this drill bit doesn't split this wood. coping saw in there and just cut it out with a coping saw. Now if you did it in um, thick wood, you could cut a notch in, but as this is really thin, I'm going to have to just glue a piece of wood onto it. I'm just going to use super glue, because it's quicker, and should set, and should set before um, the end of the video, if you know what I mean. So that's going to go right on the end there. So hopefully that'll set before we get this done. Right, so we've got that one which is going to sit in there like that. Got bloody super glue on my fingers. That one like that. This one like that and we're nearly done so I'm going to cut this stick off about there and then also flatten both ends so I'll mark that now and flat. And then that one. And I don't know whether to bother shaving the bark off it, it may not need it. going to line this up roughly where I want it Roughly, where I want that. So I'll 
mark that with a pen. Now I might drill not all the way through, but just partly into it so that it just goes in a little bit and then screw it the rest. facing forward and what we'll do is I'll stick a screw in here now and we'll screw that in place might put a washer on the end of it as well and sturdy. Oh, I think that's on there now. Oh, that should work good. To make the top slightly easier, I need to tie a bit of string on there. I'm going to put one of these hook eye things in the top. It will just make just attaching a bit of string easier. One more little thin piece of a stick and that's going to be for another part of the trigger. So depending on how high we're going to have this. So about there, I'll cut that off there. And I might drill a little hole through it. I'm just gonna flatten off this bit of the top. Because it's got a bit of an arm. a bit of like a screw hole in there. Once I drill a hole in that hole in there. 
Right, so now to put it together, I'm going to see if I can get this string through this hole. Which luckily it fits. And then I'm just going to tie a knot in it. We may need to change this, but just a knot so it doesn't pull back through. That should be good enough, but if we need to change it, we can. I'll put that through there. And then we can adjust this until we get it right. And that will do it about there. I'll tie that off and then we can try it again. See if it's right. I'll do a, just one knot there. Somehow tied that too loose then. essentially it but what you need to do is put more weight on the back and when this one is stood on down it comes so we'll just finish it off and I'll show you so to be honest once you've got it this far any weight would actually do it as long as it wasn't too heavy that it wouldn't um, go off if you know what I mean sometimes if you put too much pressure on things the trigger won't come undone and there's no need for a hinge at the back because these two are over this um, stick they don't travel forwards or anything do you know what I mean? or go backwards so you just wedge that there that one in there and if you want to you could put a weight on the back like that you could put a brick there a lighter weight, heavier weight and then when probably will make this trigger harder to set off though and when this is stood on comes down and gets whatever was in there and you could definitely scale that up way bigger catch all sorts of things you could probably make that massive as long as your weight was big enough and it's relatively simple relatively simple and actually goes off pretty easy really or you know you thought it would have been a lot harder to set off than that but you can get that's only just on the edge there alternatively you could set this up by putting um, an elastic band or springs on this as well, like that. 